Now, when we think about the state of our housing market, you'd be forgiven if the first thing that comes to mind is just how incredibly tough it is to buy a house. But are we getting a rough deal on both ends of the process? New research has found more than 70% of us think we're paying too much for real estate agents, with commission rates significantly higher than those in Australia and the UK. Our next guest has had that experience, and now she's done something about it. To explain more, we're joined by the co-founder of My Pitch List, Julie Spedding. Kia ora, Julie. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. My Pitch List. Give us the overview. What is this? Yeah, so My Pitch List is basically a new website where property sellers can put their property up for pitch and it invites local real estate agents to competitively bid to win it as a listing. You've been through this process of, of selling a property. Were you shocked at the, the commission paid? Um, I was, but it was also around the fact that I didn't have any experience selling a property. I didn't know how to choose an agent. I didn't know that commission fees and marketing were negotiable. So mm. it wasn't until after I sold my property that I heard of someone down the street that used the same agent, paid a considerably lower fee mm. and therefore save themselves thousands. I just was not prepared, so yeah. yeah. Was the information hard to find about going out there and finding the right agent for you and for your property? I think I chose my agent off a letterbox drop. Honestly, <laughs> I didn't know. I was so ill-prepared, so mm. that's what the site does is allow sellers more transparency through the whole process. And, and it's not an attack on real estate agents because you also believe that this has got a spin off for, for fresh agents entering the market who maybe don't have their own marketing budget to develop clientele, to market themselves, so they can also be a part of this, put in competitive bids to become the agent for your sale. Well, we think that it's a true win-win for both sellers and agents because agents are getting fed real listings straight to the inbox so mm. it's a really effective way of obviously receiving listings. How long did it take to create this? It took a while. We've been talking about it maybe for about 18 months mm. and then it's yeah, taken a while to build and there's been a lot of um, you know changes in the process and trying to make the site as user friendly and as simple for for both parties, both the agent and the seller. Now, today's the first time you've spoken publicly it about is. my pitch it list, is. so thank you for doing that on breakfast with us. Uh, but what do you think the reaction will be, uh, first of all, from home sellers? Do you think that they will finally appreciate having somewhere central to go to to make or to ask the questions they need to ask? I think so, yeah. I mean, the people that we've spoken to have all had a scenario like mine or know someone that have had a scenario like mine and they don't know where to start and mm. there's nothing else out there to help guide you through that process and arm you with the knowledge to make an educated decision. Will there be a, a test here, a transparency test? You, you will have agents who are bidding to become uh, the salespeople for properties mm. listed. Um, is there a way to safeguard to make sure that those people who are bidding to sell your property are bona fide, they're licensed and they, they fit all the we pro verify, protocols? We yeah. verify every agent on the site, yeah. Mm. So that gives people peace of mind at least exactly. that they know they're getting in there. The, the whole idea of you know selling a house, these people do do a lot of work. Real estate agents work hard for sales, mm -hmm. they work hard to find buyers. Uh, we all know real estate agents who give up every weekend for open homes, etc., etc. Um, you know, what's at stake for them here? There's nothing really at stake for them. I mean, this is just another lead generator, really. Mm. And how do people access My Pitch List, Julie? So it's online, mypitchlist.co.nz, one word. And do they have to do anything? Do they have to give you details or is it free to All enter? All you need to do as a seller, it's completely free, so you just pop in your address, it will pull up all the property data if that's if that's saved publicly and you pretty much enter your name, email address and... And wait for the right seller wait to come along, wait for the right agent. That's right. Oh, well, Julie, wish you all the best. I mean, it's intriguing. We've seen disruption in so many uh, uh, industries, especially with the Uber, the Airbnb, uh, the what-ifs of this world. So this is just another way to use digital to, en to enhance an existing business. Exactly, yeah. Just make the whole process a bit simpler and more streamlined, I think. Oh, well, good luck with it. And uh, here's to some good sales through my pitch list. Well Thank done, Julie. You. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Why the